Live Pinpoint Weather Team coverage tonight. Chief Meteorologist Tony Petraka is standing by with some of the final numbers from today's storm. And Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly has more on the decision to send kids to school in Barrington. But we begin tonight with Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau, who's live at the scene of this partial roof collapse in Foster with the developing details. Walt? One resident up here estimates they received about 14 inches of snow. And of course, many are calling that a godsend because that is why school was not in session when this happened. There were people in the building, but no one in the area where the roof actually collapsed. We're going to take you to that area right now. We're zooming up there. You can see the peak of the roof where the snow is sort of tossed around up there. The other side of this peak is now gone, missing. And now they're trying to figure out what happened. The ice, snow, lumber, and insulation came tumbling down on the desks and books around 11.30. And while we were recording this video, another hunk of debris fell into the library. With firefighters clearing snow from the roof, an engineer worked on determining how safe the rest of the building is right now. The walls on the outside of it are uh, they are cracked, they're buckling. It's, uh, the trusses have let go in the center. Based on the cracks in the cinder block walls, you can see that the distribution of the weight now has shifted and it may domino and, and just take a lot down with it. The theory is the weight of the snow and ice brought the roof down. And on other sections of the building, you can see how thick it is right now. As the investigation continues, one thought is crystallized. Relief, no one was inside the library when this happened and that school was closed and it almost certainly would have been occupied by, at a minimum, the librarian and potentially several, several students, which, which obviously, in hindsight, having the day called for snow was uh, th through the hand of God. Most of this school was built in the early 60s, but this part of the school that you're looking at right now, the library and part of this corner of the school was actually built in the early 80s. So right now they're trying to figure out exactly what happened. They think they know, but obviously won't know until the investigation is continued. Meanwhile, the scramble is underway about what to do with all the students while the school remains closed for weeks and potentially months. More tonight at 6. For now, we're live with the Mobile Newsroom in Foster. Walt Guteau, Eyewitness News.